Hello. This is a motorcycle. For the past 200 years, it has been the most evolved way to move two wheels. And this recent revision is a Surron Ultra B. What if an motorcycle was electric and tiny? Would that go more places? Faster? Funner? And this, well, it's a type of motorless motorcycle. It's got these spinny things that you kick around in a circle and that like pushes you forward. Anyway, Suron invented a category in the midst of this odd trio. <coughs> so I've invited some help to test it in context. Hey, 44. Hey, boss. What is that? I don't know. I don't want to ride that. Oh, God, no. Me neither. I posted a flyer at Colony Farm Hospital. They're sending somebody over. Hi, Ryan. Hi, 44. Right. So our first test is portability. The game is a familiar one. You've forgotten your ramp. How fast can you load and unload the bike and how? I like games. Oh, are we starting? I don't know, like three seconds maybe? Sir unpacked this battery density over 200 watt hours per kilogram. That's up in Tesla territory. Ugh. Not bad for cheap Chinese manufacturing, Tesla. So the Ultra B is 22 pounds lighter than a YZ125. It's the first dirt bike I've ridden that's lighter than I am. Whew. Balanced 50 50, too. Suron actually compressed aluminum into this frame shape, so it's wiry but strong. The game is a familiar one. I uh, <clears throat> forgot my ramp and, um, and uh, ha how and how. Oh God. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> New game. This hill climb looks impossible and how high each bike gets will mark how much power we can put down. Not bad. Yeah. It was a moment there. There was, yeah. I thought he was going that way. Yeah, he was, you can see. He was left of the pole for a good six feet. Better, but not fantastic. The suspension is blameless, it's fully adjustable. I've sped the rebound to avoid packing. I'm picky with shocks and I wouldn't bother changing these. I keep the tire in contact as frequently as any enduro bike. Of course, they'll bottom on an MX track, but well, no spring can be sprung for trails and triples at the same time. I think what really betrayed me is the 19 inch front. It kept tucking away from true uphill. A 21 incher with grown up girth would do wonders. And Suron left the clearance for dirt bike tires. They'd expect these skinnies to trade traction for range. I think it's like time for children or something. I think it's like a, like a chair, like some kind of electric inline wheelchair. This is Widowmaker West, 
a black diamond enduro trail that makes a perfect one kilometer loop. The game is, how many laps can you do before your tank or battery runs dry? Lols. I'll just go human powered until they die or my legs do, and then I'll turn on the juice. I'm actually glad the cycle path picked range because Siron gave us every customization on the Ultra B. TC is a quantum leap for emotos because the dirt can only withstand two, two and a half newtons. And by stoppering wheel spin, I always put down the minimum required force to travel as fast as the terrain will support. So, a warning, while well, the other two are out of earshot. And I got this from a dealer, it's easy. You can also find them cheaper from resellers on Alibaba, but they'll file the VIN off to hide their tracks from selling outside of market area, making it impossible to get a plate or an ORV tag. Also, there's a non-zero chance your money will disappear and you'll be left searching Shanghai for a man named Peter. But you can play the same tricks with our sponsor, Surfshark VPN. By choosing any proxy location, you can browse content for any foreign market. And you can teleport safely from any public Wi-Fi, since Surfshark encrypts the information traveling between your computer and the internet. It's useful for holding hackers at bay or hiding from angry tweens on Alibaba. And best of all, Surfshark proxies my IP address, so no one knows where to find me. I'm just another Peter from Shanghai. Click the link below and use promo code FORTNINE for three months free. Looks like the future's going nowhere, eh? No. I was kindly waiting to see if you wanted to try it. Uh, sorry, boss. It's in uh, limp mode. So, 44 laps, 44 kilometers, two and a half hours of hard enduro. In this stage of my life, I'm lucky to get away for two hours, and there's no schedule for unscheduled engine maintenance, so I'm good here. You? Yeah, 44 laps as well. I still got gas in the tank, though. Yeah. Can you get a spare battery from China? You can, you just kidnap two expats and they'll trade you for one. The thing I wanna know though, and be honest, were you faster on the electric bike? Yeah, I mean, I'm always in the right gear. My feet are always in the right position because braking is all hands instead of using my club foot. Club foot. What? Nah, nothing. Uh, anyway, the uh, traction control is managed six times for every one four-stroke cycle too, so. You get to think about nothing but your Exactly, mind. yeah. I've always found the same. A pro might be faster on gas, but 99.9% .9 of the population is going to be more confident on electric. I mean, the thing at its widest is nine inches wide. Game of horse.
What the hell, dude? Electric motors are reversible. And this thing will pump the full 440 Newton meters backwards if you tell it to. It sounds ridiculous, but the first time you get stuck into a trail dead end and don't have to back paddle out, you... Oh shit, I forgot about that thing. Where are you at? Oh, uh, 90, 98, 90, 98%. How many laps? Uh, uh, three. So, while that other thing keeps ticking, let's test speed. It's kind of weird with electric controllers because they can kind of add as much as you want. Case in point, we've subbed in a Suron Lightbeat. And this is the model that started the swarm five years ago. Six grand, six watts, bicycle parts, and immediately every 12-year-old modded them into kilocycles that'll beat a Ferrari off the line. Suron took the hint and did a factory hooligan job with the Ultra B, whereas gasoline is confined to its weight class. We could jet this, pipe it, bore it, but we'll never get much more power without a much heavier engine. Drag race, last one past the camera, buys the sticks. Excellent. Ah. Let's go wrap up. Ice, ice, Truthfully, I've been taking the piss a little bit. And in real life, we're all the same dude. We all just want to have the most fun for the least money. We can probably all agree where that money goes. And cost to you, 44? $8,000 gets you a brand new DRZ. Yeah, uh, this is also eight grand. Fair play to you, buddy. I mean, I know that little thing's probably it's totally eight grand. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's got the Bosch motor. You have to push it. They should pay you to push it. <sighs> the transport fee. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. It is enjoyable for me to pedal. It keeps my dad bod a rad bod. I can ride it in the bike lane. I can drive it through the local playground to the trails from my house, and I don't have to pay for insurance. Yeah, yeah Jane Fonda has a point. Uh, people talk about e-motos living in the gray area. There's nothing gray about this. Exempt vehicles have pedals. They peak at 32 kph. This does not and does not and is not exempt from the road rules. Yeah, but that's why I hate these things, though. I mean, fat dads and kids are still going to flood the streets. They're going to barrel through the bike lane at 90. They're going to poach MTB trails. I mean, there's no rules just for them yet, so they're gonna break everybody else's. I know, but the Ultra B is an honest motorcycle. It wears a plate in Europe. The charger is specially made to fit underneath the seat. It has this little strut that holds up the battery wow. cover while you I, take it. I bet it's a big strut. <laughs> no, yeah, well, yeah, but seriously, the, put this next to a KTM Freeride. The finish is oranges to oranges. I mean, this feels like a rebirth for sure. There's a new swagger here, a pride in its Chinese heritage because the bike is pride-worthy. I'm reminded of Suzuki's great leap with the katana. Think of it like this. A gas bike is the fastest way to move two wheels. That thing is the easiest way for most people to move two wheels. But this new Etherweight class is the easiest way for most people to move fastest. 200 years later, dollar for dollar, electric wins. <laughs>